Hello, Randit. My name is Wildcard. It's that time of the year again, or as Rassi Erasmus would like to call it, Lekka, Lekka, Lekka time of the year. It's a Springboks announcement. First squad of 2022. This squad will be going against Wales in July. And this is a pretty solid pick. This squad included pretty much all the staples that saw the success of the Lions tour from last year and the Rugby Championship and the November International Series. The core players are all here. The team has brought in quite a few, I thought, pretty talented youngsters added into the squad and also the very top end, a couple of oldies, has been kicked out of the squad for injury reasons. So the two big names I missed out is Francois Stein, my, my childhood hero. He's uh, out of the squad. As he's currently looking at getting a surgery. Uh, not, I think he's having a shoulder injury or a knee injury or something. And then the other guy, Duan Vermeulen, also out of the squad, is not being selected. He did play against Ulster last weekend. Looked okay. Uh, the reasoning, according to the news, is that he's expecting to get a knee re re reconstruction or like this, uh, this, he's going under the knife soon. So that's the reason he's not selected. And also, according to a lot of the social media, um, probably a lot of people think he's probably just getting to the to the to the old age stage of his career, time to retire. But with that being said, let's have a look at some of these players that are, that are selected and look at their stats. Uh, we're just gonna go through, have a talk through who they are, what they've you know what their histories are, what their performances were last year. I have not watched the club rugby's uh, for these players, so I'm I don't know their performance from the club. I can only refer to these players based on their international performance from last year. And uh, yeah, so let's go have a let's go through them and let's take a look. So let's start with the props. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's start with the props. We have um, Thomas Dutoit comes in from Celsius Sharks, 27 years of age, 190 centimeters, 136 kilograms, 13 caps already for the Springboks. Uh, he's probably not even going to make the bench, I would say. It would be difficult for him to even make them because the Springboks front row was a, it's one of the key winning strategies. And the front rowers that they used last year were very, very good. I'm ve I'll be very surprised if he gets, uh, he might actually get a run actually since it's against Wales. He might get a run here. Uh, wouldn't be surprised that he might actually get a bit of run, uh, to be frank. But yeah, the Springbok strategy, dominating up front in the scrummaging is really, really important. Uh, and here, speaking of the man that dominates the scrummaging, Stephen Kitzhoff, one of the best scrummagers in the world, plays for the Stormers, 30 years of age, 183 centimeters, 120 kilograms, uh, 56 test cap already for the Springboks. Here comes in that loose head. He's, yeah, many people believe probably one of the best loose heads in the world. Last year, very solid performance for the, for the Lions tour. I thought his performance in the rugby championship was probably a bit of a low, but then he kind of picked up a little bit again in the uh, end of the year tour. Uh, and then alongside of him, uh, Vincent Koch, uh, plays for Saracens, 32 years of age, 185 centimeters, 118 kilograms, 28 test caps. Now Vincent Koch is actually like the, the reserve, reserve tight hair prop. Uh, he's, he got a quite a bit of an opportunity last year because Franz Merrebe was injured. So he, his performance coming off the bench was quite solid. Just good scrummaging, good set pieces, exactly what you asked for, and good, um, what it could, good, very good defense kind of as a as a extra player coming off the bench. Uh, speaking of the man, Franz Merrebe plays for the Stormers. Thirty one years of age, one hundred ninety centimeters, one hundred twenty five kilograms, forty six test caps. He had a bit of injury last year, which allowed Vincent Cole coming in. I felt like his performance last year in the international test series was not really as good as his performance um, the year before. Uh, well, not the year before, the Springbok didn't play the year, but it's not, not as good as his performance during the Rugby World Cup, which is in 2019. That was quite a few years ago. So, uh, I did saw him play for the Stormers on the weekend. I thought it was okay. I thought he looked better than he did last year. Last year, he just looked yeah a little bit out of shape, to be quite frank. Uh, but he did look a lot better this year when he was performing for the Stormers. And um, yeah, so looking forward to, for him to be performing. He's a really, really good scrummage up, tight head position. It'll be interesting to see uh, who they actually put in the tight head position, whether it be Vincent Koch or Mal Herbe against Wiles. Uh, this is a guy I'm not too sure of. And uh, let, me, let me try butcher his name. Um, as I've mentioned to some of you guys, I'm a master of gibberish. So let's see how this goes. Ntutoko uh, Mchu, Mchunu, Mchunu. Am I right? Am I even close? Uh, Ntutok, Ntutoko, 
Mchunlu, Mchunlu. Hopefully that's close enough. 23 years of age, 180 day centimeters, 114 kilograms. He's a debutant. He has not played for the stream box before. Now next up, Ox Nche. He has played for the stream box before. 26 years of age, 173 centimeters, 117 kilograms. Uh, seven test cap already for the stream box. Uh, he, did, he was pretty good last year. Uh, just a huge size man. Uh, just massive, massive guy on the field. And uh, he did look like last year was, you know, the sprint box kind of utilized him alongside Trevor Nyanke. So let's talk about Trevor as well. Trevor Nyanke, the final prop for the sprint box, 33 years of age, 178 centimeters, 121 kilograms, 51 test caps. So both Nche and Nyanke kind of works as a pair for the sprint box. And they both seems to only play about 35 minutes of the game. So a lot of times, even when they're starting, I've seen them sprint box play against the All Bass where they will start the game and they will be taken off the field at 30th minute, 35 minutes into the game. So yeah, before halftime, they will be subbed off um, for the reserve props. So yeah, the both of the players are just huge, huge, huge guys, huge size on the field. And maybe the fitness is a thing that that um, that the size kind of like compromised a little bit. But yeah, like once again, very, very good scrummages and just incredibly good coming off the bench. Uh, so one of the things that the, the, uh, the Springbok scrummaging is a bit of interesting fact is the height difference. So as you can see, Inche and Nyake are both around 173, 178, whereas the other props are a lot taller, like Malherbe 190, uh, Kitsop 183, oh, sorry, yeah, uh, Vin uh, Vincent Koch 185. So a lot of times they tend to pair the taller ones together and then they have um, Nyake and... Um, uh, Nche paired together and we should see the same similar th is a similar thing they do with the hookers as well There's a big high dif high difference between the, the hookers. Uh, so basically Joseph Dweba had one game last year for the spring box 26 years of age 172 centimeters 108 kilograms uh, His debut was very emotional. He was crying. I still remember that and uh, yeah He was not too bad considering his first game and he did look visibly Nervous on the field, so he definitely needs a bit more time to develop that. Uh, next up, Malcolm Marks. This is the guy that usually pairs. He's, he's the taller guy on the team. He usually gets paired with Kitsov or uh, and yeah, Kitsov and Mal Herbe, uh Usually Kitsov and uh, what do you call it? Kitsov and Vincent Koch on the bench. That's usually how he pairs up with. 27 years of age, 188 centimeters, uh, 43 test caps, 115 kilograms. He's currently playing in Japan with the uh, Kubuta Spears. Uh, and then the other hooker that usually starts on the field, uh, Spunky Bunabi, 31 years of age, 175 centimeters, 108 kilograms, 45 test caps. Bunabi was, um, again, just super, super good in the scrummaging, really, really good line out execution, good set pieces. And last year, he also showed a bit of a running game. He also almost scored a try with uh, running and just reaching out to the try a little bit short just under the post against the All Blacks. Uh, so that was very, very, uh, like, I thought that was very, like, one of those moments where, like, you couldn't believe what you saw sort of thing. That was very impressive. So hopefully we can see more of that running game from Bongi coming into this year. Uh, now the locks. This is the backbone of the Springbox back, uh, the front rowers. Probably the backbone of the Springbox team, in fact. This is where the locks uh, resides for the Springbox. The set piece, the defense, everything the Springbox does revolves around the, the, loss, the lock and the loose fall position. The, in fact, the Springbox like... The lock position so much they actually play three locks they play a blind side flanker as a as essentially a lock on a blind side flanker position just to add a bit more size in the scrummaging as well something that's uh like england is starting to kind of catch up to that strategy as well so let's have a look at that so lou diega um one of the key uh, pieces for the springbok locking position 29 years of age 206 centimeters 125 kilograms 53 test caps uh, and then the the man that's probably i i thought last year this guy was so impressive ibn Etzbeth, 30 years of age 203 centimeters 122 kilograms 97 centimeters he's just returned to south south africa and is going to be playing for the sharks uh he was in france and uh i thought his performance for the spring box was absolutely like yeah superman effort every game like the spring box would not be the same without him uh, on the field to be really frank his work rate just and uh, the, the his ability to steal and interrupt the opposition line out is just second to none he's so 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 good um and then yeah so Eben Esbeth comes in uh, and then we have uh, a again this guy i'm not too familiar with uh saman morat 
He's a debutant, plays for the Stormers, 24 years of age, two, two meters tall, 116 kilograms. And then we got Ruan Norje, uh, another Bulls player, 23 years of age, two meters tall, and 113 kilograms. And finally, Marvin Ori had a bit limited time with the Springboks last year, 29 years of age, two, two meters and one centimeters, 115 kilograms, and six test caps. So, yes, um, so the... Ori, he had a little bit of run last year with the sprint box. I thought he was okay. Tick all the boxes. Good line outs. Um, not really, yeah. Not not exactly. Just compared to Eben Etzebeth, I think it's still a little bit bit of work to do there. But um, as a backup, he's uh, pretty solid hands there. Uh, now the loose fall position. Peter Steph Dutoy, this man has been injured quite a bit. Uh, last year, he, and he, I don't even, I can't even remember he actually played the, I think he didn't even, he may have played one game in the Lions tour last year. You guys let me know, but he didn't play like pretty much at all last year. Finally, you get to see him back. He's a really, really good, uh, in, in really important piece of the puzzle for the Springboks. He, um, he is the basically the one of the guys that does the rush defense for the Springboks to shut down the ten and eleven. Uh, sorry, ten and twelve channel. Uh, with really high efficiency, so he's 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 having him on the field, and the defense for the spring box is really really tremendous for him. So yeah, Peter Step Toy, I can't wait to see him play again. 29 years of age, two meters tall, 120 kilograms, 58 uh, test caps already. Next up we have Marcel Coatsy, 31 years of age, 193 centimeters, uh, 117 kilograms, 30 test uh, test caps. Next up, we have Sia Khaleesi, the captain, 30 years of age, 188 centimeters, 105 kilograms, uh, 63 test caps. Uh, again, he's, he's like the official kind of like open side flanker. He wears the number six jersey, just high, super high work rate, really good at the breakdowns. Uh, everything you kind of want for a for a captain and for a uh, loose air forward. Just lead by example, hard work um, all around the place. Next up, we have Al Rai Lowe. 22 years of age, uh, debut Tom, 195 centimeters and 112 kilograms. Uh, and then next man up, this guy, I'm really looking forward to for him to play in the spring box. Uh, Evan Rules, 22 years of age, 191 centimeters, 109 kilograms. He was, I saw him play in uh, for the Stormers and I thought it was super impressive. Yeah, uh, he's a uh, big number eight, uh, good running game, high work rate. And yeah, uh, I thought I was very impressed by this guy and hopefully he gets uh, some time on the field against Wales. Next up, Waka Smith. He was uh, caught into the Springbok team as a result of, I think, Peter Septatoy being injured. Uh, ever since he came in, he has been tremendously good. He used to be a sevens player, so he's he brings a lot of that agility and, and speed onto the field. Uh, and his breakdown work is just tremendous. Super high work rate, high tackle count, and really, really good breakdown breakdown rate. I saw uh, one of the, you know, he started as just like someone that's kind of like a filler. And then later on, he became quite a danger man for the Springboks. Uh, and in fact, the Springboks did look visibly better against the, uh, in, in later part of the season with him on the field because of the speed and breakdown speed that he brings to the field. So he's one of the options the Springboks could opt, uh, opt to opt into for that, um, for that speed on the breakdown if they want to. Anyway, uh, next up, we have uh, Jasma Visa. Uh, again, this is another guy that's been caught in the Springbok team for the Lions tour, and he was kind of like, yeah, he had only had a limited time before last year, and yeah, he again came in really, really good, good under the high ball uh, for a big man, and I was pretty impressed by his performance, especially just the strategy the Springbok play, and he, as a number eight, he pressures the high ball quite, quite good for a big man. So yeah, uh, I'm, I was surprised how good he was. Doing those pressure kicks, doing those pre uh, applying those pressure, defensive pressure for for the Springboks, uh, and yeah, so he's coming in at a, a loose air forward position. So finally, the utility forwards. These are the, kind of like the forwards. This is like what the Springboks really like. That forwards can do a lot of different things. Uh, first, uh, Reinhard, uh, Reinhard Elstadt comes in at 32 years of age, 198 centimeters, 102 kilograms, and three test caps. And then we have a potential debutant at 35 years of age, uh, Dion Fury, 177 centimeters, 100 kilograms, uh, plays for Stormers. He hasn't played for the Springbox before. Uh, and finally, Franco Moster. This is what I was talking about. This is basically like the 
the guy that they would like you to use either as a finisher or someone who they put on the blindside flanker as a third jumping option sort of thing just brings a lot of size into that uh spring box side he he gets that number seven jersey but yeah in south africa seven jersey is actually the blindside flanker but yeah he is um just yeah he's basically everything you want from a from a like this is he's some is someone that's like really important for the spring box strategy he can double up as a second rower double up as a jumper brings that extra size into the scrummaging uh, extra height in the lineouts as well just really 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 good all-rounder player high work rate good defense whether he, they put him on the bench or starting at the you know seven jersey he's always always good value so 31 years of age 200 centimeters 112 kilograms and 48 test caps already for the spring box now let's have a look at the back line um so back line we have the again the there's a few new names here and there's a few Obviously, the stables are all here. So first out, scrum halves will have Faf de Klerk. Uh, I just, I saw like a picture. Apparently, he met the prince. What's his name? Harry? I don't even know. Harry, I think. In, in, in Speedos. In those South African flag Speedos. He met the prince. Shook his hand. I mean, <laughs> uh, I would feel really uncomfortable to shake anybody's hand in Speedos. Uh, let alone the prince. But yeah, he shook uh, Harry's hand <laughs> in Speedos. Uh, I was, oh yeah, anyway, uh, I like that. That That is something that I want to do. If I, ever, if I ever get a chance to meet the Prince, I would try, set myself up in my Speedos and do exactly the same. I, I When I grow up, that's what I want to do. Shake the Prince's hand in my Speedos. Next up, Jaden Hendrixa. This guy was... Uh, play for the Sharks. He got caught into the spring box and then I'm pretty sure on his debut He scores a try into the corner. He literally gets into the field and scores a try in the corner uh, So good good debut good debut, but he also was one of the guys. I still remember infamously Elbowing people on the ground during the Lions tour. He wasn't playing for the Lions. Uh, sorry. He wasn't playing for the um, uh, What do you call it? He wasn't playing for the spring box against Lions He was playing for the Sharks against the Lions and he like elbows. I think it was Van der Merwe, uh on the face and he got a red card for that. So yes, this guy is infamous for various reasons. And then we have um, Herschel Yangshi's Stormers player. Uh, he is grown quite a lot since last year. Uh, he was basically like the, the reserve number nine for the, for the behind Faf de Klerk. I can probably see him starting this year, to be, to be really frank. Um, he was looking really, really good for the Stormers. Really fast sports, directing traffic, uh, organizing players around him. Much, much better than what I saw in the spring box where he was kind of just on the field doing, you know, doing that basic role of just passing the ball to the 10. He was, uh, for, the, for the Stormers, he had more of a leadership role. And I really like that about what he did there. So potentially, I can see him starting at number nine uh, over Faf de Klerk. And finally, Grant Williams. Uh, Williams, he is 25 years of age. 174 centimeters, 80 kilograms, and uh, he's potentially debuting, de debuting for the spring box. So with the fly halves, uh, Johan Goosen, some of you guys pointed out this to me. He's like really, really talented. He has some injury issues. I don't know this guy. Uh, I've, I've heard different opinions from everybody. So because some people are saying that he doesn't deserve to be here uh, because he hasn't really played much uh, rugby. And some of you guys mentioned in the comments in my other videos that he's really talented. He deserves a shot. So we shall see. Maybe he gets a chance against Wales and we shall see how he goes. Uh, but the thing is, with the other two fly halves in the team, I've, I struggle to see him getting a, uh, a shot at all, to be really frank. So so yeah, obviously, Elton Yangshi's, uh, I felt this guy's super, super talented. Uh, he's, yeah, he's, I, I've, I've, to me, for me, in my opinion, for how, how many years I've watched this guy play, ever since, since he was playing for the for the what did they call it for the for the cats? Uh, what, what was it cats back then when he was playing? Uh, the lions. He was uh, tremendously good, and I thought he was always solid. And I, I kind of want to see him as a start for the Springboks, um, but yeah, I, I thought he brought he brings in a lot more speed than Hundred Pollard, and I think he's just a little bit more you know what do you call it a little bit more unpredictable nowadays in rugby uh something that's we kind of like want 
uh, to break up a stalemate in international rugby these days. I feel like, yeah, there could be a chance for him to be a starting number nine. Uh, sorry, starting number 10. And finally, we have Henry Pollard, the World Cup winning uh, stable for the Springboks. Really good goal kicking. His goal kicking actually was not that great last year. His percentage was quite low. Um, but he does have a really big boot, really long range. Something that very solid. He actually, his, the style that he plays is actually very, very similar to Dan Bigger. So with the Welsh coming to visit, it'll be an interesting matchup to see, like, like almost like mirror uh, number 10s playing against each other, which is why I feel like Yanchis will be a better option because you really don't want to play a mirror match with identical style for both of your 10s. Um, I feel like, yeah, Yanchis will probably be a better option. But yeah, let me know your thoughts for the number 10 solution there for the Spring Box. So 100 Pollock, 28 years of age, 189 centimeters, 101 kilograms, and 60 test pack for the for the for the Spring Box. Uh, next up we have the midfielders. So this is probably for me the best midfielders in the world, but most underused. So first up, look how your arm outside center position absolutely carves up the field every time he gets the ball. But the way they use him uh, more used as like a pressure guy for kicking. So, yeah, so Lukam Yuan comes in at Alsa Center, 28 years of age, 186 centimeters, 98 kilograms, and 23 uh, test caps. And then the uh, the number 12 position, Damien Dillande, an absolute monster at the 12 position, 30, 30 years of age, 191 centimeters, 105 kilograms, 58 centimeters, uh, 58 caps. So, Damien Dillande, every time he gets the ball, he's able to break the advantage line. But once again, this the way Springboks play last year, um, it really didn't feature him that much. There was one point where people felt like, he, there was cause for him to get dropped. Uh, I thought, yeah, he was like every time he did get the ball, he looked super dangerous and just really able to get over the advantage line. Um, like there was, I think, I think it was against the Lions. I remembered he was like the only guy who was consistently able to get over the advantage line whenever he got the ball. So yeah, I thought he was very impressive. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts about uh, Damien Delande at the center position number twelve. Uh, next up, uh, this is a bit of a call callback, Andre. Eshterheisen comes in for uh, an extra player for the center position. 28 years of age, 193 centimeters, 113 kilograms, and eight test caps. Uh, finally, Jesse Krill marked as a center at uh, 28 years of age, 186 centimeters, 95 kilograms, and 51 test caps. I'm pretty sure he played winger last year uh, when they had some issues with like passport with Afalele Fasi. So he he's definitely more like a utility back than just an outside center. Um, so finally, we have outside backs. Uh, sorry, outside backs and utility backs. Outside backs. So Afalele Fasi, like we just mentioned, he was super impressive with the two games that he did play for the Springboks. Looked super fast. Uh, I'm actually surprised. So just there was a guy, um, Subu Nkosi. Is he injured? Is uh, it's Nkosi injured? Subu Nkosi. So he's not here. He's not selected here. Um, so yeah, a lot of you guys really liked him last year. Um, yeah, I'm surprised to not see him here. But anyway, Farsi, another guy. I hoped him to get a bit more time on the field. Uh, he looks super dangerous every time he got the ball. And I think it's just a matter of time. Just more experience will really seem to develop into one of the, you know, one of the really good wingers for the Springboks into the future. Next up, uh, Warwick Gillant. He plays for the Stormers. I saw him play on the weekend. Um, he was okay. I thought, yeah, with how good the Springboks wingers are, I find it difficult for him to find a spot. He has like quite a bit of size about him from uh, from from the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, I thought he was just pretty solid performer for the for the for the Stormers. Twenty eight years of age, hundred eighty seven centimeters, eighty nine kilograms, and nine test caps. Uh, next up, Cheslin Kobe, another guy that was injured early in the season last year. I was really disappointed. I really want to see more of this guy. He's literally uh, a cyborg. I don't think he's human. Someone need to check, double check to see if he's actually human. And he he's yeah, 28 years of age, 171 centimeters, one of the smallest guys in the in the in international rugby, 80 kilograms and 18 test caps, and he is so 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 good. Um so just 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 to understand how like ridiculously good he is, right? The spring box has a kicking strategy where they put a high board in and they will pressure the high ball with their wingers to challenge the high ball and try to win the ball back. The guy that does the pressuring and try and recovers the ball is Cheslin Kobe. Yes, literally making like the shortest guy, smallest guy on the field to challenge, to chase down a high ball again and again and again, and able to do that like consistently for your team. 
getting the result that you want for your team is like mind blowing. Like it doesn't even make sense. Science doesn't like, this is not like scientifically, this doesn't even make sense. Having your smallest, shortest player, you know, unless I guess uh, Yang, uh, what is it? Unless, uh, what is it? Herschel Yang, she's on the field. He will be literally the smallest player on the field. And he will be literally the one chasing down the high ball and recovering it for the spring box. I honestly did not make, like, did not, like, it did not make any sense to me. But yeah, that's how much of an athletic freak this guy is. Uh, also, he has the ability when he gets the ball to just, yeah, if you're a forward, forget about touching this guy. He will step through five, six, seven defenders, even against the All Blacks. Uh, just insane absolutely insane player so yeah i was really disappointed got injured uh like during the lions tour but yeah due yeah i uh, can't wait to see him play again very very excited next up Vili larue he had terrible he he had a really terrible run towards the end of the season last year led leading to francois staying like taking his spot essentially uh but yeah but Vili larue He's back in the squad, 32 years of age, 186 centimeters, 90 kilograms, 72 test caps. Um, yeah, I don't know. His performance is on and off at times, I feel like. Sometimes he's brilliant. He's really good. Good kicking, good solid. And sometimes his kicking is just like awful. Like, he, he'll kick the ball. he go like 10 meters forward. You're like, what the hell is that, mate? Uh, and he'll be like dropping the ball. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on sometimes. But yeah, Vili really LaRue, hopefully he puts in more of those good performances and fewer of those... <coughs> you know those shocking ones uh in 2022 and finally in the last person in the outside backs <sighs> makazolo mapingpi many of you believe that he's best winger in the world um we'll have to see we'll have to see how he matches up with the new zealand teams but for south africa he is definitely the best finishers in the world he actually scored like the most tries uh, for the spring box, despite the fact that he is again barely gets the ball for the spring box last year due to the kicking game, and he every time he gets the ball, he's so good, uh, chasing those ball down, finding himself in space, getting himself in the right positions at all times, and just just absolutely like athletically so gifted, he's able to just you know step you every every inch of space you, you know given to him on the field. So Makazola, my pimpy. I uh, was really excited to see him play again. 31 years of age, 184 centimeters, 91 kilograms, and 25 test cap. I uh, finally last two utility backs, Curly Arenze, Ar Arenza. Curly Arenza comes in at 25 years of age, 180 centimeters, 76 kilograms. I think he plays for. He, I think he's the seventh player for the for the for the uh, for the for the box. Uh, but he's potentially debuting for the Spring Box. He has uh, his debut time. And lastly, this guy is probably the most important player. Uh, believe it or not, in the Springboks whole strategy, Damien Valemsa. The reason that the Springboks can consistently play six players on the bench, two, uh, sorry, six forward on the bench and two backs is because of Damien Valenza and how talented this guy is, okay? He plays every position on the field except for the nine, basically. Every backline position on the field except for the nine. And uh, yeah, he's playing for the Stormers. I saw him play against Ulster and that was, he was super good. He played inside center uh he was able to get the ball he played like yeah just world-class inside center and for the spring box mostly his plays a fullback and he's just um able to jackal the ball he yeah he's able to jackal the ball get turnovers on the breakdowns like a forward i uh, so talented this guy so 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 good like without him the spin box would not be able to play three forwards on the bench like the whole spring box forward dominant strategy falls apart or, or like it becomes extremely risky if he's not on if he's like injured it becomes extremely risky if he's injured and that whole like six forwards on the bench it's just too much of a risk if he's not informed or, or if he's yeah if he's if he's not here in the team so he is um probably the most underrated player in the springbok team and probably the most important player also in the springbok strategy but yeah damn in Valenza. i really want to see more of this guy he is Man, that, he was so impressive in that Stormers game against Ulster. I was like, I can't believe this guy's, <laughs> this guy's uh, uh, playing inside center and he's just looking like a world-class inside center uh, for the Stormers. But yeah, anyway, let me know your thoughts. That is the Springbok team. I've got the cheat sheet here. So if you wanted to download this sheet and have the stats for you, it will be in the description. And uh, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it.
uh, donkeys, as you guys might call it in South Africa. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys uh, a bit later on for the reviews. Cheers.